What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel, I want to hit that subscribe button. That would be wonderful. On my way to 10K and I know I can do it with your guys' help. But today is a very informative and exciting day for me. Uh, it's like too much to honestly kind of comprehend right now for me. But let's just start out with all of the good news. So, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. All right, so. Number one, my Haltech from Australia finally shipped. I should be getting that sometime early next week. And then once we get the Haltech and we schedule an appointment with Evan at ES Tune, we can get the Skyline Tune. Cause as you guys saw in the last video, I do have the Mines preset ECU. It is a solid, okay ECU but it's not tunable and if I want to run bigger injectors and a bigger turbo, I can't tune them. It's more opposed to say bolt-on applications. So I will be selling that my ZC once my Haltech comes in. Number two, my BN Sports Kit finally, finally, finally shipped out or shipping out either today or tomorrow from Santa Fe, California. Warren and I were going to were supposed to pick it up last week, but they were really busy at the warehouse. So they gave me a call and said, hey, it's ready. I said, hey, just go ahead and ship it out. I'm pretty much busy this week. So again, hopefully early next week, we will be receiving the BN Sports kit as well. Um, some more parts for the Prelude came. My suspension techniques, front and rear sway bars came and they are of high quality. We'll be installing these once my Moog rear end links come in. These are nice, I already upgraded the front end links when I did the rack and pinion job a while back. We got the polyurethane bushings for the rear and also the front, so I am stoked on that. I am still waiting to hear back from StopTech about the mismatched rotor they sent me and still waiting on my steel braided brake lines as well. And the other week I mentioned at the end of the last video's vlog that I ordered a nice, perfect set of Ganadors for the R32 Skyline. And guess what showed up today? Finally, after a little over a year's worth of searching, I found the perfect set of R32 Ganondors from the homeboy up in New Zealand. Get that VIN for you. Incredibly stoked, I, not gonna lie, I paid a lot of money for these, but I work hard and I talked them down almost $400. So that is nice and it was super chill. So shout out to all the um, Australians, all the New Zealanders for just having such a genuine personality. I'm incredibly stoked to run these. As you can see, I mean, these work perfectly. I am gonna miss the power folding option from like the 90s. But as you can see here, I got this mirror cracked as it is. And it's just part of the look I wanna go for with the Ganadors. I'm trying to keep this car as classic Japanese 90 as I can on the exterior, of course. So today we'll be just mocking it up, test fitting them. So when the BN Sports kit comes in, we can just send everything to John for paint. And while we are on the topic of exterior, I did order the final exterior parts I needed for the Skyline. So I did order the 30 millimeter extended guards from D-Max, shout out RHD Japan. And I also ordered the D-Max flush trunk wing, shout out again, RHD Japan. I did still want to buy the D-Max roof wing, but at, uh, honestly, I've heard good things and bad things about like fitment, even though it was going to be like legit. DMAX roof wing or if it's a um, say rep wing, there was like modification issues or fitment issues to say, but I think in the future I will go ahead and buy it just to complete that look I wanted. Reason why I didn't get it is because the parts alone was like 300 bucks, but shipping from Japan 
to here in America, Arizona, was about $700 because of the product it is. I think it's like freight, so it's a lot more money. And adding the wing added like another $200 on shipping. So I don't want to go overboard, but I'm sure I can find a legit S13, S14, R32 D-Max roof wing in the future. But today's objective, like I mentioned, kind of go ahead and mock up the Ganondors. And then also just do a little bit of maintenance. I want to install the new OEM fuel filter as well as the fuel filter lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install the Japanese passenger side first. Instead of taking off the driver's side as well since I gotta take them off anyways to send them the paint. I did watch a couple YouTube videos and browse through the forums on how to install them um, via take off the door card because we need to take off the door card to access the electrical connector. So on the passenger Japanese side, one clip, two clip, and then there's underneath us one screw and another screw and then this should be able to lift up and pull out which will give us access more access to this panel here which I believe is just clipped on and then there should be three bolts holding the mirror in. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I got all the clips out on the perimeter of the door card. I can't seem to unbolt it from this bolster here but I was able to just bend this back enough safely the door card and remove the wire that connects the mirror. So now exposed you got three bolts, we'll go ahead and zip those off and then test fit the Ganondors there. Okay, so I went through the forms again and I missed you know, a very hidden bolt. It's gonna be on the bottom of the door handle here. As you can see, this is for the GTS-T four door by the way. So you'll have a bolt there. You got two bolts on the bottom, two clips there, and then you got all these miscellaneous clips along the perimeter of the door. Good news too, my speakers have been upgraded. That's pretty dope, so it's gonna upgrade. The single DIN to a double DIN in the future, but moving on to this, gonna go ahead and take these three bolts off and then test fit. All right, got the passenger side Ganador mirror on. Fitment is a pretty good. It's not fully seated, but for the most part, it's looking really nice. Before I fully install these after paint, I'm definitely going to find some like rubber trim just to lay down here to prevent scratching the paint and getting water on the inside. It looks really good. Again, getting the door card was a pain in the butt, but just follow my steps and you won't have to break or severely bend any part of the door card. Good thing that nothing broke on that. I'm surprised. Fit out and fed in this hole here. Electrical connector fits in perfectly. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the door card off on both the passenger. And I'll probably just knock out the driver's side since I won't be driving the Skyline until after paint and maintenance is done. But I would say a successful install. This angle hits a lot harder. So just went ahead and did the driver's side. Was significantly easier taking the door card off now that I have that experience less than like a minute honestly about the same thing uh, you got your two clips on this side here two bolts on the bottom for the um, I don't know what you want to call it I guess this holder here well as you can see there there's a bolt that goes into there and this also acts as a locking mechanism so just go ahead and pull that out after you pull out the screw and then just lift up from the window portion here and the door card should come right out. But I love these. It'll look significantly better once the GAN doors are painted. But again, once the BN Sports kit comes in and we mock up the kit, then we will go ahead and send everything off the paint. Shouldn't take John too long, but I want him to put a bunch of base paint on and a bunch of clear coat 
and I get them back, I'll go ahead and ceramic coat everything. I do need to order magnets for the kit because I really don't want to drill into my guards and or any of the chassis. So I would say a very successful install on the Gandor mirrors. I am going to go ahead and cut the video here. I was going to install the fuel filter and update all of the fuel lines, but it looks like I'm gonna need about another foot, foot and a half of fuel hoses. And then we still got to install the Coyorad radiator and then flush out that system. And once those two things are done, we can go ahead and knock out the front and rear sway bars on the Prelude. I might actually do that tomorrow or Friday when the rear end links come in just to get the Prelude. To see a Prelude video out, honestly, I kind of miss vlogging the Prelude. And I want to get the fuel and the radiator done before the BN Sports kit comes in because that is going to require a lot of my time and focus. I want to make sure this kit fits perfectly. And also I did get from Amazon, um, it's a quick release, but it's not the ricey one. This one you bolt into the chassis of the car, which I think I'm just gonna utilize this hole here. And then I think I'm going to have to drill a hole in my BN Sports Kit front bumper, which should be fun. So I can't mess it up because it is going to be my first time working with fiberglass. Other than that, I hope you're all excited for all this content I'm putting out. I promised you that once I move, everything's going in full force and full effect because I'm already planning my next build after the Prelude and Skyline are done. Skyline should be done, honestly, this year. And the Prelude, whenever I get that motor, that's gonna be a, another <laughs> probably three to six months to get the Prelude where I am envisioning it now but thank you guys again for your continued love and support and if you are new to the channel and want to hit the subscribe button that would be awesome and remember aim high drive low we'll catch you next video take care